To find the derivative of 1 over the square root of x plus 2, the first thing we should do is rewrite this expression as a power of x plus 2. We can get it out of the denominator by giving it a power of negative 1, and then we can rewrite the square root as a power of 1 half. Hence, we rewrite the whole thing as x plus 2 to the negative half. Now, this is a composite function. It's the linear function, x plus 2, to this power. So it's a function in a function. So to take its derivative, we want to use the chain rule, which tells us the derivative of f of g is f prime of g times g prime. f is the outside function, which in this case is that power of negative half and g is the inside function, in this case x plus 2. To take the derivative of the outside function, which is just a thing to the negative half, we just use the power rule. So bring that exponent down in front as a factor, so we have negative 1 half, times, don't change the inside function, we're going to leave that as x plus 2, and then we have to reduce that exponent by 1. Negative 1 half minus 1 is negative 3 halves, so we have negative 1 half times x plus 2 to the negative 3 halves. Finally, we must multiply by the derivative of the inside function, but the inside function is x plus 2, and its derivative is 1, so we're done. And that is the derivative of 1 over the square root of x plus 2. Just rewrite it as a power of x plus 2 and then use the power rule. Negative 1 half times x plus 2 to the negative 3 halves.